It's the mat work. So almost going back to what I was asking last time, because I was trying to find, draw like a um, connection between like what I'm going to do visually and like the brand and like the music and everything. So how do I know where to start in my story and like when to start the story in my songs as like fans kind of like funnel in so they understand what I'm talking about? If like some of the songs are situational, do I just kind of just start with like the overall story like from the get go? So what's the particular story again? Because I remember you are already talking about, you know, it should be past tense or present tense. And how does that go? Is there a very specific story that you're trying to relate right now? Yeah, yeah. So it's more of like, um, I don't know if you know, like, well, easiest way to describe it is like, I don't know if you know Hassan Minaj. He did like the, he has like his own Netflix show. It's like, yes, uh, yes, yes. Featured act. And then, cool they, yeah, he had like his own like uh, special on Netflix called like Homecoming King, where he just explains like how it was for him growing up as like a brown American in India, uh, in like American stuff. So I just wanted to give like my take on this and also like, kind of show people that like all right it's i may be talking about stuff that oh you might think like on surface level it's more meant for like an indian crowd or whatever but i kind of root it back to an emotion that and we're like kind of like humans in the end so like mm -hmm. it all relate to an emotion mm -hmm. uh so i try to digest uh like like kind of framing it in that perspective which is also why the name kind of goes into like we good like no matter what happens either the highs or lows in life we good Dope. right mm -hmm. Um, I, so I guess like going off of this is more of like, so I want to, so like for fans to understand what, what my like thought process is now and like what I'm doing, I kind of want them to like go from like square one, which is when I was like in like a dark, like a bad place type of thing, not like really like confident in myself and all that stuff. So my, uh, my question is, do I, so I want to release first. It was like, Okay, so based on like what you were saying last time, it's um, all the media and like the pictures and the content around like the songs I will be releasing will be related to that just to keep like the story like kind of uh, consistent. But the thing is, how do I like, it's like more of like figuring out how to narrate it properly, if that makes sense. Like, do I start like from the very beginning of the story from like singles or do I save this story for like maybe like an ep or like an album and just like do uh, specific like instances of like situations or whatnot just as singles and hope that like the audience understands that these are like instances in an overarching story like i don't want this to seem like random stories that kind of just come seem disconnected like how do i make sure they understand like the overall like story that i am coming from like basically the brand in a sense the we good part or the the indian american part uh i would say like the first since i'm coming from the beginning the it would be the indian part because the we good part is kind of like what it goes into got you so one uh, you have to utilize things outside of your music right whether that's an interview or whether that's a, a visual um or some kind of small series or piece of content in relation to it, something that you do and launch around it. So you can have maybe a like five part podcast series, right? That's mm -hmm. um, open and honest and discussing discussing what that experience li is like from a emotional, sad standpoint, from a, a happy, from a comedic standpoint, whatever makes sense for your brand. And you can touch all of those in um, all of those emotions from your point of view whatever that unique point of view is as an artist. Um, so that's a place to start from your songs. You don't want to tell too much of the story for the sake of the story. You want to make sure that it's still going to be a good song. So you write about certain instances and then the people who understand your brand from the rest of the packaging, they'll be able to relate back to it. But then if someone experience a, a song first because everybody's not going to experience you from the very beginning right and from that uh, in a specific order then they'll just like the song for the song and then they get taken into the world right and hopefully some of them might just stay surface level but the ones who get taken into the world 
would then be able to realize there's a greater story and then even be able to see there's a chronology to it to follow. Okay. So if I were to like talk about all this on like a podcast or whatever, is it, there's, there's not really, okay. So there's no such thing as like kind of being too open too early or is that just me kind of is it being weird? And that's something that just kind of comes with the job where you just, gotcha. kind of, cause if I had just have like 800 followers, but I'm like spilling my like feelings out, that's kind of, I feel that's kind of weird unless it's like what comes with the job. Part of it comes with a job, but another part of it is what there is a sense of being too open. Now, I wouldn't use the words too open. It's just being tactful on what you share and when you share it because you want to understand what the brand that comes with that will be. So when you're saying too open, are you so more, more so referring to like the sad stuff? Or are you just talking about just stupid details, period, that you aren't comfortable sharing? What What is it? I mean, if it was, like, stupid details, it's, like, easy for me to, like, skip over. I just feel like some of those details are necessary, especially because some of the people who follow me were part of it. So it's – there is that connection point which they can, like, relate to. It's just that I feel like being a little – since I'm not, like, very active or anything as of right now, and I, I just, like – I've been doing like the, what, the dollar, dollar 80 method or whatever that Gary Vee does on Instagram. And uh, I've been doing that. But other than that, I haven't been like posting content because I've been trying to figure out like, maybe like, okay, set like 10 different kinds of posts that I could do that I could just kind of like rotate between. Um, but I've been, I wanted to get like the brand all like structured or like unified to get a concrete idea of what it was so I can like uh, go down from there and figure out the 10 that I was going to do. Um, but what I am talking about is, I would say is, yeah, in a sense, being like open, talking about like the mo- more like sadder part, which, um, yeah, yeah, it's more about like the sadder part, not really like the specifics. Um, you're, you're muted. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, I just said, got you. So from that perspective, one, I say write out the story. Like make it clear so even I can understand. Maybe share it, and then we can piecemeal what should be received where and what type of content can relate to it. Ow.